Man United wonder kid makes decision on transfer exit after contract confusion. Manchester United had already confirmed the departure of a number of senior stars as a summer rebuilding mission gets underway during Sir Jim Ratcliffe's first window, but Omari Forsen had been offered a new contract. Omari Forsen has decided to reject a new Manchester United deal and move to Serie A. Forsen was handed his Premier League debut by Eric Ten Hag, impressing off the bench against Wolves and starting the February defeat to Fulham. United allowed his contract to run down, though, and he can now leave for a foreign league as a free agent. Monza appear to have won the race, with the winger poised to sign a long-term deal with the Italian club. Rafael Palladino's side finished 12th in Serie A last term and count former Arsenal defender Pablo Mari among their current squad. The move comes despite United insisting in early June that talks were still ongoing over a potential extension. He had earlier been expected to leave after rejecting a final offer from United. And now he's set to sign for Monza in his search for more first-team action. Forsen was brought into United's pre-season touring group in the summer of 2023. First-team opportunities followed, but by the end of the campaign, he appeared to have been overtaken by Ahmad in the pecking order. I've learned so much. Good habits on and off the pitch, and I've really enjoyed my time since the start of preseason, Forsen told club media in August. There's a lot to learn. You've got to keep learning. The learning never stops, especially because I'm young. He only managed seven games in total, though. Four of those came in the league and three in the FA Cup, with the Fulham game at Old Trafford his only start. Forsen is by no means the only player to be leaving Old Trafford this season. Rafael Varane, Brandon Williams and Anthony Marshall will all leave when their contracts expire at the end of June, though discussions remain open with veterans Tom Heaton and Johnny Evans. Jaden Sancho could also end up leaving this summer after impressing on loan at Borussia Dortmund. United are thought to have lowered their asking price for the England international, who has two years left on his contract. The summer transfer window formally opens on June 14th and will be United's first since the arrival of new part owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. The billionaire will oversee football affairs, with a new backroom team leading the way when it comes to transfer comings and goings, while questions still remain over manager Eric Ten Hag. Despite winning the FA Cup final and securing Europa League football, Ten Hag has yet to learn whether he will be in charge next season. It has been reported that a decision could be reached on the Dutchman by the end of this week. Omari Forsen's decision regarding a transfer exit after contract confusion amidst Manchester United's summer rebuilding mission under Sir Jim Ratcliffe's ownership could involve exploring the intricate dynamics of modern football contracts, the allure of staying at a prestigious club versus seeking opportunities elsewhere, and the impact of new ownership on player decisions. The narrative could delve into Omari Forsen's journey as a Manchester United wonder kid, his rise through the academy ranks, standout performances, and the promise of a bright future in the sport. Against the backdrop of the club's rebuilding efforts and the departure of senior stars, Forsen's decision could carry significant weight, both for the club's future plans and his own career trajectory. The confusion surrounding his contract offer could add layers of tension to the story. Was the offer not up to his expectations? Were there disagreements over playing time, salary, or other terms? These uncertainties could fuel speculation about his intentions and attract attention from rival clubs eager to capitalize on the situation. As Forsen weighs his options, the story could explore the advice and guidance he receives from his inner circle. Family, agents, mentors, and perhaps even former players who have navigated similar situations. Each perspective could offer valuable insights into the risks and rewards of staying or leaving, further complicating Forsen's decision-making process. Meanwhile, Manchester United's new ownership under Sir Jim Ratcliffe could introduce an element of uncertainty. How does Forsen perceive the club's future direction under this new leadership? Does he see himself fitting into their plans, or does he harbor doubts about his role and opportunities for development? 
Ultimately, Forson's decision could be a defining moment in his career, a calculated gamble that could shape his legacy in the sport. Whether he chooses to stay and fight for his place at Manchester United or seek a fresh start elsewhere, the story could explore the implications of his choice on both personal and professional levels. Thomas Tuckle names ideal Manchester United transfer as Sir Jim Ratcliffe gets manager update. Latest Manchester United media watch with a decision on the future of manager Eric Ten Hag expected this week. Thomas Tuckle is reportedly out of the running to become Manchester United's new manager. The news comes shortly after reports emerged on Sunday that Tuchel had met United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe at a secret meeting in Monaco. The German has been heavily linked with United after news emerged in February that the former Chelsea boss was leaving Bayern Munich. United are currently conducting a review of the 2023-24 season, with the future of manager Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford being assessed. A decision is expected this week, but it appears that Tuchel will not be available this summer if the club are looking for a new manager. Tuchel Transfer Claim the Times have claimed that Tuchel told Ratcliffe he wanted United to sign Real Madrid centre-back Antonio Rudiger. The pair previously worked together at Chelsea, however. United would have had to put together an expensive transfer package to sign him, akin to the one used to acquire Casemiro in 2022. Men's Sports' Isaac Silokan says, Rudiger has improved a lot at Madrid and has been a mainstay in the Spanish club's defence which has seen them win multiple Champions Leagues. The German could be a good partner alongside Lisandro Martinez at the heart of United's defense. However, aged 31, this would feel similar to the Casemiro transfer a few years ago, and Ineos are unlikely to go down that route. It hasn't worked for United before, and it's unlikely to be any different on this occasion, considering the money that could be involved. As speculation swirled around Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United, another intriguing narrative emerged. The potential transfer targets identified by Thomas Tuchel, the highly respected manager of Chelsea FC. Tuchel's name had been linked with the managerial vacancy at United in the past, adding an extra layer of intrigue to his purported interest in the club's transfer strategy. Reports suggested that Tuchel had identified a key target he deemed ideal for Manchester United's squad. The player in question was a versatile midfielder known for his tactical intelligence, technical prowess and leadership qualities, attributes that aligned with Tuchel's vision for building a successful team. As discussions about potential signings gained momentum, fans eagerly awaited updates on Tuchel's rumored interest in the managerial position at Old Trafford. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the influential co-owner known for his astute business acumen, was at the forefront of negotiations, keenly aware of the importance of securing a manager capable of leading the club to glory. Amidst the backdrop of managerial uncertainty, the prospect of Tuchel's preferred transfer target joining Manchester United added an intriguing dimension to the club's summer plans. Supporters speculated about the potential impact of such a signing on the team's dynamics and tactical approach under a new manager. With the transfer window looming large and the managerial situation still unresolved, the coming weeks promised to be filled with anticipation and speculation as Manchester United prepared to embark on a new chapter in their storied history. The revelation from the Times added fuel to the already blazing fire of speculation surrounding Thomas Tuchel's purported interest in Antonio Rudiger for Manchester United. Rudiger, the commanding centre-back from Real Madrid, had previously flourished under Tuchel's management during their time together at Chelsea FC, earning plaudits for his defensive solidity and leadership on the pitch. The news sent shockwaves through the footballing world, with fans and pundits alike dissecting the potential implications of such a transfer. Rudiger's addition to Manchester United's squad would undoubtedly bolster their defensive ranks, addressing a long-standing area of concern for the club. Sir Jim Ratcliffe, the influential co-owner of Manchester United, found himself at the center of the unfolding saga. 
tasked with navigating the intricate negotiations surrounding Tuchel's reported recommendation. With Tuchel's endorsement carrying significant weight, Ratcliffe and the club hierarchy faced a momentous decision that could shape the team's fortunes for seasons to come. Meanwhile, supporters eagerly awaited further developments, pondering the prospect of Rudiger's arrival and its potential impact on the squad's defensive resilience. Amidst the swirling rumors and conjecture, one thing remained certain. The summer transfer window promised to be a whirlwind of excitement and anticipation for Manchester United and their passionate fan base.